the 1996 World Series champion New York Yankees are so fondly remembered because they snapped the second longest title drought in franchise history while weaving a captivating story of their journey to the top. One of the most curious chapters of the tale of the 96 Yankees occurred 16 years ago today, when the Yankees began the American League Championship Series against the division rival Baltimore Orioles. The Yankees and Orioles found themselves in their tightest battle for the AL East crown in more than a decade. New York snapped a 14-year playoff drought with an appearance as thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The AL wild card team in the 95 playoffs, but going into the 96 season, the Orioles were on a 13-year schneid of their own. The Birds had squandered most of franchise legend Cal Ripken. JR.S. career missing October baseball since their World Series championship in 83. They were armed and ready for a fight in 96 though, and their high-flying defense led by leadoff hitter Brady Anderson's surprising 50-homer campaign set a major league record for homers in a season with 257. Although they led the division for most of April, the Yankees took over first place on April. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. 30th and never looked back. The Orioles trimmed the lead from 12 games on July 28 to 2.5 games in a little over a month, but the Yankees stood their ground. Undeterred, the Orioles broke their playoff drought anyway by capturing the wild card, besting the Seattle Mariners by 2.5 games. In predetermined seedings, the Yankees played the AL West champion Texas Rangers, and the Orioles faced the AL Central champion Cleveland Indians. It would be tough road if fans wanted the division rivals to match up for the ALCs since Texas had a powerful offense of thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Its own with AL MVP Juan Gonzalez and the Indians won 99 games in an attempt to repeat as AL champions. The predetermined seeding hurt the Yankees, who did not have home field advantage despite finishing two games better than the Rangers. They would play two games at home then up to three at the ballpark in Arlington, and the situation became worse when the Yankees dropped the first game 6-2 thanks to Gonzalez's three-run homer. The Yankees trailed 4-1 in the second game, but rallied to tie it at four in the eighth, then won it in thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The twelfth went third baseman Dean Palmer wild throw on a bunt enabled a L rookie of the year Derek Jeter to score the winning run. In Texas. The Yankees needed a two-run rally in the ninth inning to beat the Texas bullpen 3-2, and they improbably won a second straight game to clinch the series in Texas, 6-4, thanks to Bernie Williams's two homers. The Yankees moved on to the ALCs. Their opponent was decided later that afternoon. The Indians were heavy favorites to take out the Orioles, who won 11 fewer games than them in 96. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. They had home field advantage in the 2-2-3-5 game series format, but they quickly put themselves in a hole with two losses at Camden Yards. The slugging Orioles clubbed for homers in their park's playoff debut to beat Charles Nuggie and the Tribe 10-4, then rode a three-run eight against the Indian bullpen to win the second game 7-4. The stunned Indians avoided a sweep with 9-4 victory at the Jake and they took a 3-2 lead in Game 4 to the ninth inning. An out away from sending the series to a winner-take-all Game 5, future Hall of Famer Roberto thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A Lomar line the game-dying single to center against closer Jose Mesa to send the game to extra innings. A Lomar struck again in the 12th against Mesa in his fourth inning of work with a solo homer to give the Orioles a 4-2-3 lead that Randy Myers protected in the bottom of the frame. Amazingly, they took out the defending champions without needing the fifth game and they would meet the Yankees for ALC's Game 1 on October 9th at Yankee Stadium. The first game pitted ALC young candidate Andy Pettite against Scott Erickson, who won a thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. World Series with the Minnesota Twins in 91. Erickson struggled to a 5.02 era in 96, but he managed to outfitch Pettit that night in the Bronx. The Orioles rode homers from Anderson and first baseman Rafael Palmeira rose to a 4-2-3 lead entering the eighth inning. 
Much of the blame rested on the shoulders of the Yankees' offense, which left ten men on base up to that point. Young flame thrower Armando Benitez, not yet a playoff choke artist, was on for the Orioles, and they were five outs away from a Game 1 victory when Jeter stepped to the plate. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The Yankees were the benefactors of a horrible call that would thankfully not likely hold up in today's era of instant replay on homers. Tony Tarasco and the Orioles were incensed at umpire Richie Garcia.